Welcome back to the channel, guys. What is up? A lot has happened with my Mini Cooper. It has been in the shop for about three weeks. It had a valve stem seal uh, part failure after getting a head refinish on it, but it's finally ready. I've been rocking this loner BMW 5 Series, which is nice, but I really miss the Mini and I'm excited to go get it. So follow me as I go pick up the Mini. We're on the way to pick up the Mini Cooper at Motorworks. But let me tell you why it's been there. So right before lockdown, around March, early March, I was at a red light and I noticed that the car started rough idling. And every time I tried to give it a little gas, it just, I could feel it in the pedal. It was like misfiring and it was just shaking. So I coasted back home, called the tow truck, got it towed out to MotorWorks. They called me about two or three days later and they said, well, are you sitting down? And I said, yeah, what's, what, what's the issue? He goes, you've got a burned valve in cylinder number two. He said, uh, if I were you, I would just go ahead and get this fixed because you've taken such good care of this car. And if it was anybody else, I would probably recommend a used motor. So I said, let's just go ahead and fix it. And then Mike called up there who loves my car and is a diehard mini fan. Let's do something real special. We got an opportunity to make this car better than factory. The intake exhaust valve stems on the Cooper S are pretty small. And since we got to replace them, why don't we go with the JCW valves? They're a little bit bigger. The head's got enough room where we can go in and port out the, the cylinder ports to make it a little bit better. And that's really gonna open the car up. So we did that, they got the head off, they, they ported all that stuff out. And he sent me a really cool video uh, of the port. You can see here the machine doing its work. It was really cool to see that. So I appreciate Mike for sending me that video. That's the original head that came on the car. They, they put the head back on and they were about to install everything, get everything hooked back up. And then Wes, the mechanic, noticed two small cracks in the head. So that was like a big setback. Fortunately, they had an extra head laying around, but the bad news is they had to start the whole process over again. Got the car back. Around Memorial Day, I noticed that every time I would start the car, uh, a, not a large amount, but a good amount of smoke was coming out of the exhaust. And that should not be happening. I went ahead and took it in and uh, I knew it was gonna be a while because you know you got to explore and figure out where the uh, the issue is. The next update I got was that they found the issue and it was two valve stem seal cracks in the same cylinder, the intake and the exhaust seal, which was causing a lot of oil to get down in there, which was causing that oil to shoot out the exhaust pipe. But it's been about a month and I have been driving this BMW for so long and I, I miss the Mini. I don't even know what it feels like to drive the Mini. Anybody who has a, a special car like that and you daily drive it, you know, you get a little desensitized to it. So after driving this for about a month, hopping back in the Mini, it's really going to feel like a special car. After I pick up the Mini, I'm going to head to my parents. We're going to do a car wash on it, really uh, clean it up. So right now we're headed to pick up the Mini at MotorWorks and I'll see you then. All right, we're here at the shop. Ah, there's my baby. Look at that sweet Cayman. All right, let's get some paperwork done and I'll see you guys in a second. Here's the shop. Oh man. Yeah. I was... What the hell is going on here, man? It's such a damn good job of hanging that some bitch first time car ran break, but he's in here. Oh, here he comes. All right, here's the uh, paperwork. Here's my little keepsake the seal that cracked. Let's get on this thing and check this bad boy out. Oh my gosh. This seat is so low. This is so crazy. I can't believe I'm back in here. Wow, dude, this seat is way more comfortable than that BMW. Man, it's so nice. You ready for this startup? It's been so long since I've heard this car start up. Oh yeah, there we go, baby. Let's get these windows down. Let's open the sunroof. All right, man, are we ready? You ready? Oh my gosh, this car is so special. Look how low this thing is. 
compared to that BMW, man. Now this car does have a lot of upgrades, so it sounds real special. It's got the cold air intake. I took some of the padding off so you could hear the whine a little bit more. It's got a Miltec exhaust. I'm not gonna get on it completely because, you know, we just kind of have to drive it normal for a little while. I'm so used to doing the BMW windows here. <laughs> I got the windows right here now. <laughs> oh, and they're not auto up. <laughs> So I got to get used to this car, the little quirks, the little specialties. Yeah, this is a 2006 Mini Cooper S. It's got just over 170,000 miles on it. I bought it brand new in 2006 with 10 miles on it. But the car handles great. It's on TSW Springs. It's got a front and rear H-Sport sway bars. It's got some control arms, H-Sport control arms in the back. I mean, it handled, look at that. Look how darty it is, man. It's so amazing. So much more nimble and a lot more fun. I got the Mini back and we're in great shape. It's washed, it's cleaned, it looks really, really good. I'm gonna be doing more videos very soon on the Mini Cooper. Uh, I'm really hoping to do a little short documentary film about it, get some nice angles and get some uh, good driving footage through some back roads. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video for more content. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.